and here we are the chair has arrived model number wr-999 so let's put it together it shouldn't be rocket science uh, however the box is rather small and it's kind of bulging weirdly bursting the box just appears to be like very full dislike the product or whatever uh ship it back in the same box it's probably a worm in the can situation so it won't fit back together into the same box uh, effortlessly or whatever it probably won't fit back in the same box without brain surgery to the components wow it's a miracle of packaging how they fitted all those components into a tiny box so apparently what i hear is the foam in the chair its cushioning is very highly rated it's just right not too hard not too soft whatever just people just love it so let's get to it and put it together and everything is unpacked so assembly technically starts from here on uh, and i have a mountain of garbage to get rid of and we have a set of instructions which is really handy haven't looked at it but grouped the components this obviously makes a base with the telescoping strut this obviously makes a seat there and that's backrest so it's a chair how hard can it be let's time it apparently this is not instructions this is just instruction whatever let's leave the grammar police for later so the chair is rated for 300 pounds that's nice and with these components this is step one let's assemble the base i want to pause for a moment here look at the workmanship here look at the welds this is really nice solid welding here nicely cleaned up nice and even this is absolutely top of the line welding quality these casters then insert firmly so yes they snap in place and they need a bit of a pressure it doesn't need a tool just press down on it there that's in Same for the next one And also the screw holes actually precisely line up for bolting together the legs now for installation you can have this tool or if you have a socket already this one needs a five millimeter socket and either spin it with a screw gun or use a ratchet this is actually a torque wrench whatever i'm not gonna be sitting here with a little tool what i also like about these screws that this is if you need a replacement because they included spare parts if you need spare parts this is actually how the bolts are identified metric six millimeter in diameter 12 millimeter in length so m6 by 12 is the actual name of the fastener and all of them all of them in these little packages come with blue thread lock on them very very nice now the instructions don't say it but the finished product should be all wheels touching the ground if one of them is off it obviously hasn't been clipped in place just yet so this one's good next thing to do is install the chair's suspension there in this cylinder it just friction fits there and that's it the next item to do is to assemble the whole backrest everything separately and with the armrest and then when it's fully assembled turn it around and plop it in place yeah let's take a look plop it in place where there so you might want to do a test fit just like that or because it's going to be heavy when everything 
is assembled, uh, you might want to work upside down and work on the screws upside down. But that's usually what most people not prefer. One other thing I noted about this component here is, ouch, that's some welding slag that shouldn't be there. Uh, will a bolt fit through? Yeah, probably, but it's ugly. It shouldn't be there. Yeah, yeah. These little bumps on the metal shouldn't be there. The next three screws are gonna go in there, and it looks like that's all that's needed for fitting them together. Very nice blue thread lock on the screws, and. I'm just gonna speed up installation here with the power tool as I don't have all day. And then we've got this cover plate. Voila! The next three screws are gonna go in there. Very nice, blue thread dock. And I kind of set up the chair at the end of a workout bench here and for whatever strange logic the screws are here in the packaging I don't know why we're not going left to right but close enough is close enough I guess so this backrest looks like has a little bit of a play to adjust it, I don't know. Let's start here first, why not? So these three screws, you might wanna tighten them really, really well. Make sure there are no gaps between the spring washer and the heads of the bolts, hence the torque wrench. So it needs way more torque than what you can do with a little bit of hand tool. At the other end of this assembly, the headrest, just fits in this slot here without tools and I say this is heavy enough as is I'm just gonna put it in place there and I'm gonna risk installing those four screws upside down and also the armrest is marked L for left yes it's on the right side of the screen when the chair is upside down I know I hope you're not directionally challenged. And screws, very nice fit and finish for the screws. And also very nice fit and finish for the plastic parts. So this one also moves in and out. I don't know, let's start here and see how that works out. Let's set the torque to mm, this number. Also the front of the chair is marked front, very cunningly. And uh, so that was this step here. And then I just need four screws there to put this whole thing on the base. Almost done. I just have to do some of this bolting upside down. and the last item to install is a coat hanger these two pins go into these two sockets and this is a really thick good quality stuff it doesn't look flimsy the whole fit and finish well, looks very very reasonable on this chair so how about the geometry of all this how does it fit well i'm not gonna be the one using it but uh i'll ask her sit down on it how's the chair let's see i have to see because i for an ergonomic chair i need my feet touching the ground okay go down 
That's it. My feet are not touching the ground. But Ouch. otherwise, it's a very good fit, but it cannot be an ergonomic chair unless my feet okay. touch the ground. You need a, like a two inch riser under your feet. Something. Can Hold these in. go up? These are in the wrong position. Wrong position. Press the button, this one, and lift up the whole thing. How's that height? It's good, it's perfect. Nice. Uh, how's that uh, lumbar support there working for you? Pretty good. It's non-adjustable. This lumbar section does not go up or down, does not change its curvature. It's in the right, right spot. Okay. Uh, uh, this one here goes up and down without without a tool. It can be at whatever height. It's good, but can the, can the chair be locked? I, I keep like leaning back. This is locked. Oh, okay, because it's leaning. This is it. It's, it's moving this much. It's quite a bit. I want to be firm. Okay, rock again. Because when I lean back and it's rocking, it's it's taking away from the lumbar support being firm. Yeah, this is it. It will. I can't touch the ground. <laughs> yeah, your feet can't touch the ground. Okay, it will. <clears throat> it will go back if you pull this one out sideways. It's gonna. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yes. So I'm five foot seven, and if my feet can't touch the ground, was this made for just really tall people? I don't know. Like, if I sit normally, my feet are not touching the ground. Yeah. That's right. That's a problem. Okay. Um, much I've learned. Very educational. Thank you. And there's one other adjustment underneath the chair. This one. Okay. Get up out of the chair. What is that? Okay. It says Titan on it. There might be an arrow there. Yeah, there's an arrow on it. So it will make the spring... Let's see, it's quite a grip. Let's tighten it. This pre-tensions the spring so it doesn't rock that easily. All right, sit on it. Yeah, what I mean, it's not gonna lean back that easily. It will still be a rocky, wobbly chair. It's it not in locked position. Can you lock it? Yeah, it's not in the locked position. So does it take uh, more force to lean it back? Yeah, but okay. I, now if it's in the locked position, it might be better. Locked. Oh, that's much better. Is it? Much better. It's still got a little bit of wiggle. Can, it's good. can that wiggle be gone? No. It's got exactly the same looseness and play. That's just how the assembly is. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. This play is the uh, flexure, the flexing and bending of the component so it's it's uh the whole the stiffness of the the plastic this this piece here at the back of the chair the flexibility of the seat you're, you're sitting on the diameter of the post the whole seat is uh, supported on so the arms on the leg assembly are also bending and flexing a little bit ever so slightly so everything adds up and it just wobbles this much so is this a keep is this a return return okay i'll take it apart uh your feet are in the air yeah yeah by two inches yeah hello yeah okay and uh, what what's uh, what's wrong with the backrest back this one i feel like has to come closer to me this guy yeah, closer. I like this guy, but closer because we work like this. Yeah, you work like that. Yeah, it has you to be. Spin towards me. Yeah, but the yeah the angle of this uh, keel for the backrest is such that it's this is it. You can only lean back, and that's it. So, uh, do you like the chair? I like the chair, but I like this when okay. I'm working like this. You Hi, can I help yeah. you? Not like. Hello, can I help you? Yeah. That's right. So I'm like, hi. That's right. When you work, you lean forward, and that's how you take the weight off your uh, back and uh, off your elbow. Yep. Okay. Uh, it looks like you push that gray button, and things will push forward. No, that's uh, three bolts uh, hidden under that gray button. There's is nothing. So the cushion is nice. It looks like it's yes. a coat hanger on the back. Yeah, that's a coat hanger. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy.
Oh, so yeah. I want this chair to be a little bit lower, like yeah. closer to my body, then it's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah close, yeah, closer to you. Yeah, it like needs. Yeah, the backrest needs here. to go forward like, exactly, like fifteen this. degrees and or something. If they move, that's okay. If they come here and not move, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. But this is not okay. Yeah, yeah, that's for yeah, that's for vacation, not work. 